Mirror, mirror on the wall, who have I become after all? That question was part of the reality check for Dr. Ramona Probasco, who was living a dual life, hiding the terrible secret of domestic abuse. Her comprehensive book declares her life mission, healing well and living free from an abusive relationship, from victim to survivor to overcomer. Dr. Ramona, you write, if there was an Olympic event in marital loyalty, perseverance and believing the best, I was a gold medalist. Yes. I, I a was, along with millions of other women and men as well, are affected by this out there. You know, I tried so hard. I'd like to share one particular story. I had read one morning how uh, Samuel anointed Saul to be king. And I thought, maybe there's something to this anointing with oil thing. You know, it's in the Bible. It has to be important. So Moira, one night I got up in the middle of the night while Ben was still sleeping and I went to our kitchen pantry and I got down the olive oil and I dipped my finger in it and I went back into our room and I put a little cross on Ben's shoulder and I prayed oh. with all my might. I was like, God, please, please change this situation. Change him, stop what's happening in our home. What I didn't realize then is that God intended to change me. Hmm. You went through periods of wanting to end your life Anger, resentment toward yes. God, who didn't yes. seem to be doing anything all these years. But you clung to a scripture, and I want to put it on the screen mm -hmm. for that woman out there right mm -hmm. now who's living without hope mm -hmm. and maybe in denial. Right. And let's take a look sure. at what God's Word says. This was your treasure, mm -hmm. Psalm 18, verses 16 to 20. Do you want to read it? Sure. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence. I have that for you. Oh. Maybe there's a place in your office for <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna have me start to cry. That final <laughs> truth. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Thank you. God, you felt Jesus held you through yes, it all? Yes, he did. Dr. I Lord. would ask him to come sit on the edge of my bed and I told the Lord one day, I said, Jesus, I have to expect to see you sitting here one of these nights, you know, and I would just I would lay my hand out on the top of my sheets and I would just say, Lord, hold my hand. Get me through this hold my children, and he did. Mm. He did, God sees us. There's so much, so much that's important to understand. You say you can't heal what you won't feel. That's right. You have to face, feel, and deal with reality. That's right, and you can't feel what you won't talk about. And that's, that's your number one point. Yes. You need to tell your story. That's right, that's right. And often it's starting with ourselves, admitting to ourselves and calling it what it is. It's abuse. It has a name, and there's something very powerful about giving something the correct name, because we respond differently when we call it by what it really is. Mm -hmm. Oh, key stumbling blocks, shame, blame, all part of it. And, what you, and you say reconnecting with your dreams mm -hmm. is paramount to healing well. Yes. That's what you call a U-turn, Y-O-U. Yes. Make a U-turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know I know someone who had the reality check when she found her high school yearbook and saw a picture of who she was. Mm. Talk about mirror, mirror on the wall. Yes. And she thought, where did that woman go? I know. She was so devalued, right. so lost. It, it takes a long time when you've been put down and people don't have to experience physical abuse for it to be abused. June Hunt says That's the number one issue on her counseling line is verbal right. abuse. Verbal and emotional and in the church often spiritual abuse where scripture is used to control someone. Mm. You know, so abuse does change us, but it doesn't have to destroy us. You know, and healing well is not just for me, it's for anyone who pursues it. These steps are are not complicated. They're not easy, but they're simple. Hashtag me too now what? a new place for people yes. to follow some pretty good steps along with this amazing, amazing yeah. book. So insightful, includes the safety plans, includes things like how to know you've made a bad dating choice, yes. uh, questions to ponder, prayer, promises. Shocking that six to eight times 
a woman will leave before she really or leaves. She leaves for good. That's a long, mm -hmm. a long time. Preparing to leave, safety plans. I would like for you, Dr. Ramona, to pray for that mm -hmm. abuse victim right now. I would love that. I would love that. Can hold hands? Lord Jesus, we just thank you that you do see us. Your name, El Rai, the God who sees us, especially in our pain. Lord, you see that precious woman or man that may be going through or is going through an abusive dating relationship, an abusive marriage, Lord. You see her, God, and your hand is not too short to save. What you have done for me mm -hmm. and you have done for other women prior to me and following me, Lord, you will do for her right now. Lord, help her to believe that her life can change. Help her to believe, Holy Spirit, that she can heal well. Help her to believe, God, that she can be genuinely free and really learn to what it means to live, really live, and love, really love. God, you are love, and you will lead her on her healing well path. Hold her hand just as you held mine, God, and walk through this journey with her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Do I need to remind you what Dr. Ramona says? True love is safe love. True love protects its beloved. True love never involves fear. Dr. Ramona is enjoying that with Tim. Yes, I am. Who is here today. He is my sweetie. Your wonderful husband. Mm -hmm. A yes. whole new story. Yes. Step one, tell your story. Is it time to tell your story? Mm. You can do that right now. Our prayer partners are waiting for your call. We're believing for a new beginning for you. Dr. Ramona, we are going to be hearing more from you, and I can't recommend more highly Healing Well and Living Free, Dr. Ramona's book. All you need to know. God bless you, and God bless you, Thank Dr. You. Ramona. Thank you. Don't go away. More of 100 Huntley Street after this. <laughs>